Welcome to Sundays at the Chateau, where this week, very excitingly, we're going to be shown around the Chateau de Brie by its owners, George and Sarah, who a lot of you might recognise because they're also on Escape to the Chateau DIY, the same British show that uh, La Lande is on. And this is the first time, though, that we've ever actually met in person. It's been lovely. It's been really, really, really super. <laughs> I've been here a couple of days and it's heaven. Well, you'll see. It's honestly, it is heaven in there. We've been here since about 2010, so mm -hmm. 10, 11 years now. Chateau was built in 1823 by Monsieur de Bouy de and He was one of the founders of the Big Cognac House. And this was his weekend retreat. And for its time, it was a very, very modern chateau. The bedrooms had bathrooms, which was kind of very, very rare. Oh, what? From the very beginning? From the, the very beginning, had they had bathrooms. Yeah. Wow. Each bedroom had a bathroom and a small dressing area. Mm. This was all very, very, very modern for its time. And it has got a rather beautiful staircase, which we'll show you. Oh, and well, let's have yeah. a look that's at the staircase. staircase. <laughs> wow. The stairs. I have never seen stairs like this in a chateau. Ever. Well, it's the first thing obviously we saw when we came in, and my heart just yeah, that, it was, it was just like wow. The yeah. skill in actually making it uh, just it is uh, extraordinary. But not just the skill in the stairs, but the skill in the floor. Yeah, yeah. How do you make yeah. tiles? I know this well, shape that properly tessellate like this. Extraordinary. Well, it would have been done on a stencil uh, in a big barn, it would been drawn out and mm. sketched out and, and copied. It the, moves in all directions. But the floor and the staircase, we found out afterwards, mm. are an exact copy of a house called Queen's House of Greenwich, which was built by Indigo Jones in about 1740. So extraordinary, so, you come over from England. Yeah. And so, then you found yeah. yourself a perfect British yeah. copy. Yeah, so obviously the architect had travelled to England, taken notes, travelled to Italy, it was a very kind of Palladian style of mm. and put all those things yeah. together to, mm. to build this, uh, this home. What a show-stopping entrance. And right from the top, when you're standing right from the top, you, you look down and you see the star. It's I think it's magical. But at, at night, it just shines down, just on that star, and it's just beautiful. This is a, a lead mark that was hidden behind one of the faux shutters at the front, which were bolted close, so you could never look behind them. And when we took them off to, uh, to, uh, to re uh, restore them and to paint them, we found this set into the wall. Vive le roi et les bourbons. So, Long live the Bourbon King. Yep. Uh, Ce logis a été bâti en 1824. This building was uh, constructed in 1824 by Monsieur Dupuis, Chevalier of the Legion of Honor. He is the owner. And then we have the master architect, then the master roofer, carpenter, and locksmith. That's right. And I think they were probably, I think the owner, Monsieur Dupuis was very probably a um, Freemason, uh, kind of head of the lodge in Cognac. Mm -hmm. And these were all probably people who were also uh, from the same lodge. And he was really proud of, of his builders and, and architect, etc. Yes. Showing off a new era in French architecture. Well, so, it is, because yeah. I, I can honestly say I've never seen anything like this in a French chateau. No. It's clearly very cutting edge. For the time. Yes, yes, certainly for the time. Uh, and still now, I mean, yeah. how many homes have a staircase like this? Well, basically, it's, it's a floating staircase, yes. obviously. Yes. It, it, it floats on the two hidden pillars. I mean, the pillars here and here that look decked. So there's metal inside them, and they've been. You can see the cladding. Yeah, there. you they, can see there's a They've been cladding the wood, so they look decorative, but actually they take all the weight. You can see on the, on the bracket there, and the yes. back of it, they take all the weight. It's ingenious. Oh, yeah, it's really. extraordinary, isn't it? I can see why you fell in love when yeah. you walked in. <laughs> yes, we did. What state was it in? Well, when we found it, it hadn't been lived in for 25 years. Mm -hmm. So it, it had been closed up mm -hmm. well, so no one had got into it and vandalised it. Yes. But it mean, was full of bees' nests, the seed mm -hmm. the plasterwork all falling down. Uh, Rotten floors, rotten panelling. A lot of um, dustbins collecting water. Yeah. <laughs> all, oh, all over the place. Yeah. So I think we arrived just at the right time. Yeah, so yeah. I think another five years would be mm. too late. It's hard to imagine now because everything is so perfect. You'll see as we walk around, everything is perfect. <laughs> it's the most beautiful home. Oh, is this the original stove? That's the original stove. So that was here. And that was basically, obviously, to warm up this area. Yes. But in here, which we've now put the car keys and things in, mm. is where they would put their hats, hats and gloves and things to go to church. So, so, so yeah. So when they were going to the Freezing Lord Church, I think they probably went to it every day. 
because the same man built the church. Yes. And he walked straight out there through his gates and... With his warm gloves. With his warm gloves. And the middle of the door is exactly the middle of the church fire. And, uh, and the star there, so everything is oh, kind of line, lined up. Yeah. And tell me about the door, because it was well, extraordinary, it's vast. Well again, it, it's, a, it's a normal size chateau door. You know, most chateaus have, have, have great not big brown glass. doors, but not glass and metal. So the glass is obviously to put more light into the chateau, but to be metal, again, it was just, he was so modern. It's secure, no one can break in, yes. but you can see through it. And it's beautiful. Yeah, and it's just something really different. Again, and it, very clever. And it mirrors the floor beautifully because it's got the same diamond shape. So, 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 yeah. Yeah. It does. Yeah. I haven't actually thought of that. Yeah, um, so yes, yeah. so it mirrors the floor perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it's yeah, so it's, it, it, it makes the room a nice light, wow, kind of, you walk through and it you wow. see everything. And there's another very interesting door over here. Which is now our loop. But it's a beautifully made curved door. Oh, so again, terribly hard to do in 1820s, but it matches the curve of the alcove there, and the curve of the alcove there, there, so everything again has to be symmetrical, uh, and then you walk in and we've turned it into a rather... Ooh, I haven't been in there. Have you? No, I haven't been in there yet. Wow. Oh, it's Africa. <laughs> I love it. This is superb. Who's the photo of? The photo on the wall there was given to us by a lady who came here in, I think, about the 30s, and she saw us on Instagram mm -hmm. and sent us that. It looks a little bit like Queen Elizabeth, doesn't it? Yeah. said the same thing. Maybe it was. Who knows? Maybe yeah. she was visiting in the garden. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of the safari lodges in South Africa. Yes. These stunning safari lodges. It takes you away to another world, this downstairs, Lou. Can you lift up, sir? I, I'm staring at him right now. <laughs> now that is better than the stuffed squirrel you saw at the moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talking about squirrels, I saw something on the stove in the entrance hall. Can you oh, come yes, in? Yes, oh, yes, yes. You've been squirrel spotting again. Oh, yes. Always. <laughs> well, again, this is a collection of epis that are roof finials from 18th century buildings, maybe one 17th century one. So they would be right at the top of the building uh, to show off, off the roof structure. So you have a squirrel on one, you've got a pussy cat, a little dog. This one's fairly, fairly normal with the, with the bird on the top. Well, this is the first example you'll see of something that you see throughout the house, which is that George and Sarah tend to group objects together. And I think that that makes everything seem more special. Mm -hmm. It's something George has always done, actually. But it's um, that from you. collections of his collections, and um, mm. and I don't battle with him because I just love what he does. Actually, you're so, so lucky to have someone doing this in the house. I know. We're going to go through to the dining room, but first we wanted to show everybody the long <laughs> because symmetry is taken to its absolute extreme in this home. Yeah. What we have here is we have the, the normal early 19th century lock, but rather than just having it here, finishing there, so that this piece locks into this, they've exactly copied it. So it looks like two locks, and every door, every double door we have is the same. So everything has to be in pairs. But that's not for a key? No. No. It's just to mirror No, it can't be for a key, because there's no actual mechanism in sight. It's fantastic. I dream of such symmetry. <laughs> Last time I walked through here, I was going through to that sumptuous dinner that you made. <laughs> well, this room again, you, you, know, you have this amazing symmetry. You've got the four doors on the four corners. You've got the double doors going through to the spug that mirror at the window. You've got the double doors here. So actually you've got six doors in one room. They're all matching each other. But it's oh, useful yeah, because these are cupboards. Yes. So you know, for your, uh, your best plates and glasses and things. So, so everything is, is made to be useful, mm. but also to look very chic at the time and, and yeah, yeah, and stylish. And the Trumeau, I find her really serene and beautiful. She reminds me a lot her. of uh, Wedgwood. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, she's lovely. Yes, it's stunning. And the ceiling height, what are the ceiling heights here? 4.4. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're really only three metres downstairs at Island, which for a chateau is very oh, low. Yes. And we think it's because 
it, it's so old that originally it was a chateau where they lived on the first floor. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. It was on the first floor, we're way over, we're yeah. right, nearer to four meters. Yeah. Okay. And then the ground floor is low, but of oh, course nowadays we live on the ground floor. Yeah. So yeah. It's topsy turvy now. <laughs> yeah. This is wonderful. I love the colour as well. This is. A uh, setting plaster. Uh, yeah. Farrell or something. A setting yeah. plaster. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's actually the same as in your bedroom. Oh, so the bedroom here yeah. is setting yeah. plaster. But they do look quite different because this one with the curtains is a little bit darker. I didn't but... pick up on it. Oh, tell me all about the things <laughs> in here. I just every single table I want to go up to and have a look at. The well, we have the another place. collection, which is again the um, candles in here. Candles really? and yes. candles, the mercury candles. And it's candlesticks. Cool. You know, people today, for instance, do deconstructed cheesecake. For instance, is, is is very trendy. Well, these are deconstructed 18th, maybe even earlier candlesticks. Oh! So basically, beforehand they would have been gilt, but now all that's left is is the wood, the nails that would have actually held the gilt in place, the plaster in place yes. that was then gilded. Uh, and I found those all oh, years ago. Absolutely loved them mm. uh, because they're just different. So this is the design equivalent of uh, Nouvelle Cuisine. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got four of those. So I have four in a barn for, I think, for 10 euros. Uh, the place Such is, a you know, good eye. Yeah. And the chandelier we love. That's, the sh that moved with us uh, from our Yeah, we had that before. That's good. Yes. Is that yeah. just to get people to kiss as much as possible? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it works very well. It's a very kind of interior design -y kind of piece that the yeah, designers okay. all want me to show chandeliers and they're really hard to I've find. I've never them. seen one before. Yeah, I didn't very, even know they existed. It's very, very hard to find. These are the mercury. Yeah, these are the mercury candlesticks. So if you have a nasty bout of syphilis, this, yeah. is, this is what you turn to. I don't know, but no, <laughs> now you're talking. Is that correct? <laughs> I think it used to be a okay. cure for right. syphilis. Right. Well, if, if you rub them or something. And you just have baths in mercury, all okay, sorts of yes. stuff, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think we've now got, I don't know, 40 or 50 of those in different 40 sides. or 50? Yeah. You know, you start off with one, and, and, the, and you get another one, and... The way the light catches oh, them. Um, yeah. The only, thing the, with, the only thing with oh. them is, if you put candles in them, you have to be aware, you mustn't drink too much, because if the candle gets down, to there, for instance, it will just blow the glass. Oh, and has then, that happened? Yeah, lots of times. Yeah. So now I'm really strict that yeah. I've got to not have too much to drink. <laughs> we're lighting all these, but when they're all lit, it looks fantastic. Love but, yeah, fine. You want slow burning candles and, yes. and keep an eye on them. Behind is Tell a. Tell me more about this. Wow, well, this is just me being a bit quirky, I suppose. It's a 1900s model of a French trawler or something. Mm -hmm. With all its original paint, etc. Now it's it's a bit sad, but then these are paper mache. I think Easter Easter figures. I think originally it would have been a game where you threw a ball or something. Mm, which I had to I had to knock them over. But I just think they look rather fun on the boat. And they're all having a party. <laughs> they look great on the boat. They bring the boat to life. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing sad about that boat anymore. No, no. It, and you've got the bulldogs with the, with the bowler hat and watching the bunnies having a boxing match. No, it's great. <laughs> Lots of gardening things come into the home. Yeah. So the Provence pots, mm. the Medici urns and things, we, we bring them into the, into the home. Um, these are very interesting. I was yeah, noticing these, these in the pot. Are, these have actually been chopped in half, so they should be twice, twice the height, two yes. metres tall. And, and the wood is incredibly heavy, you feel the weight. Yeah, that's really, very really surprising. Heavy, heavy wood. And they were from the, uh, the wrecks of the old French Armada, or so we've been told. And then they were sliced up into these stakes, and these stakes were put in the mud on the oyster beds, and these holes are where the oysters used to uh, kind of glue themselves onto the wood. To grow. Yeah, yeah. to grow. And then uh, you pick the stick out, out of the mud, to have a flat bottom boat, Take the boat up to the sticks, pull them out of the mud, and then take off the oysters and then push them back in. But the oysters leave such an indentation. Yeah. yeah. I would never have expected that. It's them sucking, I suppose, holding on. And, mm. and then people use these as decorative items like I have there. Yes. But also very, very trendy to make really smart picture frames or mirror frames out of them. Yeah, Mite of the edges. And 
They're so organic. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to touch yeah. them, don't you? Yeah. They have a history, you know, the wood. Obviously, the oak tree in the first place hmm. was probably three, four hundred years old. And, yes. and they themselves are probably three hundred years old. So, hmm. you know, a seven hundred year old piece of wood. But I love that. I love how you mix things and you find mm -hmm. beauty everywhere and then showcase it. Well, there is, yeah, there is beauty everywhere. You know, when you go around the Brocons and the antique fairs and things, yeah. or out into the woods, you know, you find things and you just have to put them into a different environment mm. um, to make it into something that's, yeah, use your imagination and mm. make something different. Yes, I mean, that, that piece there is, is a garden. Garden jardinier. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and finials. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any done. kind of gilt, gilt piece, yeah. make a whole collection, and then it it's, has another use. That's it, things that other people would leave in boxes thinking, oh, I'll put them on the curtains one yeah. day, I'll get around to that yes. one day. Or they'll have one or two standing up on a mantelpiece looking, looking good. We use yes. them as uh, table yes. decorations. They still look lovely. Yes. Oh, they do. All together. Yeah. This is um, absolutely beautiful. And we use them, yeah, it's as you said, uh, on the table. Yeah. And well, this is my so favourite. Oh, yes, I yeah. know, isn't it lovely? That's, and there's well, little see, that's flowers. A, that's off an 18th century mirror. That oh, would there's be another a, one, look. A love yes, token mirror. So sweet. But love things like that. Yes, things that would otherwise just be unused. And we don't mind them being in Battle of the Morn. It shows they've had a life. And mm. um, I feel that this entire home is almost. Oh, it, well, it's a work of art. It's it's a canvas. <laughs> Instead of you painting something onto mm, a canvas, mm. you're making beauty all around you in 3D. We love living here. Yeah, we love living like this, but also mm. you, you can swap and change. If we went down and found something <gasps> that was absolutely wonderful and we could afford to keep it, <gasps> which mm. obviously is, is uh, uh, the hardest thing to do, <laughs> it's easy to find beautiful things that cost lots of money, but if you find something that's beautiful that hasn't cost much money, mm. I think we must have that. Then we can swap. We can say, okay, well, that could go there and change that picture. And you do that often? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not. <laughs> we did six, shopping, so six we... times a year. We find something we really yeah. want, I suppose, yeah. and, and we swap it something else. So you're, you're constantly upgrading, I suppose. Yes. But having better pieces of art or never boring. No. <laughs> really, really fun. And tell me a little bit more about the art in this room because we were all talking about the beauty of the women looking down at us when we were eating the other night. Yeah, I mean, this one was one of the first pictures I ever bought from a, from a charity shop years ago near the Ashdown Forest in, in Sussex. From a charity shop? Yeah, from a charity shop, I think two pounds. Uh, and I only actually recently researched it to find out who the artist was, and yes. the lady artist who used to paint to the Queen Mother a lot. It's fairly well known. Uh, who the sitter is, I don't know. Uh, but I just love the the simplicity of the of the dress and I think the face is absolutely stunning. Mm. She's so serene. Yeah. What a spot for yeah. two pants. <laughs> yes. And then we have uh, 18th century someone with lots of lots of curly hair. It's an ancestor of yeah. Philip. <laughs> yeah, I think it probably is. It comes down to here. So. Before I cut it. <laughs> yeah, sure. But that, Sarah found that. I was so delighted. How much was that? Uh, I think I paid 18 euros. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was absolutely yeah. over the moon. This looks like a kind of American film star. Yes. Uh, I'm sure someone will know who she is. She's very confident, isn't she? Yes. And the colours, I mean, yeah. the, against that pink yes, wall. It works. Wow. Yeah. And then over here we have an advertising poster on canvas from, what date was it, 1878. Oh, from the Universal Exposition in Paris? Yeah, of the local cognac house. So I just love that. And I thought, well, as, as, as the house was built on the money from selling cognac, mm. uh, we ought to have something to do with cognac oh, you had to on show. Time. So that had to come here as well. And what about this? This is beautiful. Well, that's a piece of kind of decorative, probably from a church with some kind of armorial in, in the middle. So it might have been the chapel of the chateau or something yes. like that. Uh, it would maybe be part of the altar front. Oh. But I just thought it was really decorative and it had to be put somewhere high. Mm. Over a door is the, the perfect place for it when you've got these gorgeous high ceilings. Yes. So when you're sitting at the table, people would look up and oh, wow, what's I that? did. Yeah. I, I was looking everywhere. My eyes were just going all around the room because everywhere your eye rests is something beautiful. And yet it's not cluttered at all. Just beauty everywhere. I think you can have a lot in, mm. in a room, but when you've planned 
everywhere that the eye rests, you plan very carefully. I think, yeah, I think if you have too little, it looks too boutique hotel, too, mm. too commercial. Yeah. And this is very much our family home mm. and, and our family history and the things that we do and the memories of buying the pieces, finding the things, finding them together. Mm. It, stories. It, stories attached yeah. to each Yes, yeah, it's all very important to us. Yeah. It makes it warm as a, it does as a make home. It warm. It's finding the balance uh, between the two of them. It is, yes. Right. Which you've got exactly right, oh. Oh, <laughs> Can we look at the sitting room? Yes. Yeah, because to me, that's yes. really a perfect example of that. I love this room. This is my favourite room. Oh. It's hard to know where to start with this room because there's beauty everywhere. It's very, it's really lovely and light. Yes. And it looks out onto the, the park garden and the terrace. Yeah. It's our favourite room, I think, isn't it? Yes. I love the panelling. Yeah, we're very lucky with the panelling because it's it was all here in, in poor condition, but we've had it renovated. But there were no major pieces to replace or... No, mm. no. Unfortunately, a lot of the wood had shrunk. But otherwise, it was in pretty good condition. We had to redo the ceiling. Yeah. Um, but no, we're very lucky. Oh, it's great looking griffins. Griffins and phoenixes. Mm. It is yeah. spectacular. And I love the colour that you've chosen. Because it really just well, works as a backdrop. Yeah. The colour was actually very, very similar to the original colour. Yes, yeah, so we wanted to keep it. Mm. We, we took a sample and tried to get it. It's called French grey. Yeah, it? Oh, by uh, okay. uh, little green. green. Mm. No, I like their names. Yeah, yes, yeah. Too. No, they're very nice and, and really, really go on well. Yeah, mm. and you've carried on the greys with the sofas. Yes, the sofas are actually antique linen sheets that we dyed ourselves, yes. and then we had uh, loose covers made. Um, but it's, it's lovely, it's a soft and it's... Um, it's it's hard wearing. Yeah, it is, and it, it is. Mm. Can it's see the so, that, honestly, <laughs> we've been sitting in here after dinner in the evenings with the cognac and the enormous glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the fire going. Oh. Yeah. And those special coffees you make with the cognac. Oh, yes, How do you yes. Do that? they're very charmante, so local to our region, and they're, this is just a, quite a deep saucer, and you put the cold coffee into the cup. Yes. And then you pour cognac into the saucer and then you heat it. You, you light, it. light it. And that and then it burns for a long time, isn't yeah. it? And then that heats the the coffee. Heats the coffee. And then if there's anything left at the end, yeah. you just tip it pour into it the in. coffee. It's called brulo. Brulo. It is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> and delicious. Really Can you tell me more about the individual pieces in this room? Well what do we have? We have well this is for instance a French butcher's table. Mm. Uh, so this would have been in the butcher's shop for displaying sausages, maybe whatever. Mm. So very trendy as as console tables or just as a as a decorative piece. Oh, they're gorgeous. Stone pieces we love. So the yeah, owls. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and of course wearing a Panama. Of course, <laughs> yes. Church candlesticks, gilt candlesticks, yeah. are, you know, just to gain decorative pieces. But, Anything gilt, we are. But they could be used. Yes. And I, I, she's one of my favourites, the marble, the, the lady with the butterfly. Oh, she oh, yes. is beautiful, yes. yes. Yeah, or a moth maybe, yeah. Mm. I think she's lovely. Yes, she is. And I mm -hmm. love the mirrored top on the table. I love mm -hmm. mirrored top yeah. on the tables. Mm -hmm. The way they reflect the light. Well, that actually I made, so... <laughs> Did you? Yeah. So you found an old table. So I bought the table, uh, no top to it. So originally it would have had a, mm -hmm. a thin piece of marble. Yes. Old piece of glass, went to the... The artery and uh, had it cut down. Mm, I love mm. this idea yeah. because we often see things, don't we, Philip, that, that are missing the tops. Yes. When you go to oh, a yeah. Yeah. or your dressing table or something, it's lovely to yes. put a piece well, of gold there on it. If you yes. find one of those old, old kind of glass cutting shops, yes, uh, yes. which we've got in Cognac, mm. they are so. I think they charge one euro as per cup. Yeah, per side. Mm. So it costs so, you four euros yeah, for the glass on yeah. the table. Yeah, four yeah. euros. I supply the glass, four yes. euros for the cup. Wow. Yeah, so, quite as well. Which is nice. nothing. I love this. The fabrics everywhere <laughs> are gorgeous. Well, we love our fabrics. So, you know, old mm. fabrics we're really, really keen on. And you have a but, lot of 12 inch wheat cushions, I think. Yes. All around yeah, the house. Yes, yeah, so yeah. something that we love. Another one over there, or a chair over there, another one there. So, it's just again. Yes, something. it's a beautiful one, that one. 
The colours, the colours, mm. the contrast is lovely. And, the, and, uh, yeah. and this kind of thing, the early indigo, we have to see a door. Yeah. And the... Uh, yes. Flamme Christmas. Yes. We, we, we you design made? these? Yes, we make um, them and we put linen sheets on, on the back. Um, it's like a kind of a big, easy envelope shape. Yes. But we just, you know, it, it, indigo is our big passion. <laughs> Look, I think indigo is your big passion. Yeah. I yeah. see a lot, a lot of big passions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there are lots, but... But and it's local fabric, so, it the, so these blue and white are Sharon Tazy. Mid to the late 18th century. Yeah, it's so cozy. The thing is, it's this perfect mixture of a very grand, classic Victorian style and a very cozy yeah. little yeah. Victorian yeah. 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 room. Yeah. room. But a but comfortable room. But it's a yes, family room, and you snuggle up to the fire with your yes. drink, as you said. And you can put yeah. a cup of tea down on yeah. your coffee table yeah. and not worry about no, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's very much what we like. Again, I mean, that's a very different look um, for us really, but I find it just works. We love old paint. Actually it's yes. in India. Yeah, it's, it's, it's completely there's different. Somewhere on it, it it's there's Indian writing. And the colours just fit perfectly. Yeah, so you can have a big mixture. Against the grey, really, the gilt just sings. Yeah. Using kind of fragments, you know, like for instance these, these would have been off of either a bureau or something. Mm. Um, just Fragments of, of gilt or interesting. these little panels we found. They were between beams on a ceiling or someone took the ceiling down and these were still there. And if you actually look at the pattern, these are probably you know, 1720s or so, 1730s. The pattern is exactly the same kind of pattern as on this cushion here, for instance. This indigo cushion. You can see that at that time, early 18th century, this was a very in kind of pattern, and they did the same thing on bits of wood as a decorative feature. It is so similar. We have just found, by total fluke, as we were insulating the floor of the attic, because we can't yeah. insulate all of the rooms, no. right. um, they noticed a loose floorboard and just thought, well, maybe someone mm. put treasure underneath. Yeah. So the builders mm. turned it over and they found a 17th century uh, Plafond La Francaise painted. Oh. Yes below, which is hidden by a more modern plaster ceiling. Okay. So this winter, we got the job of Gosh. bringing it back. Yeah. It's not, I'll be honest, as beautiful as this, it's brown. But it's all that we have yeah. yet, and we don't yeah. know. Yeah. A wonderful, what an amazing discovery. Yes. So Thanks. we're going to bring it back yes. to the yeah. light of day. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Obviously, I like this area very much. <laughs> this, this is the other bar. Kill that area here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you've got enough cognac? Uh, that's the big bottle, isn't it? <laughs> it's gone down a bit since you've been here. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> yes, I actually had that huge yes. glass of cognac next to my bed last <laughs> night. It felt very luxurious. Yes. Well. And a bit naughty. <laughs> Where did you cognac? Yeah. This one here, Sarah got me for Christmas. She mm. found it where? In the UK? I found it online. Online um, in the UK. And it's yeah. in its box. <gasps> Chateau de Brie. It's a chateau. Oh, okay. So they used to produce. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. Oh, so this is this is the most precious thing you have yeah. here. So <gasps> wow. Sh- so oh, well done for finding yeah. it. Yeah, it's so tough. Yeah. When did they stop producing here? I think in about nineteen seventy six. Just to find that, which is just well, now you need to find another so that you can actually drink one. I know, yes. I know, you have one. Yes. 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 Dead. <laughs> we'll definitely do that one day. Yes, we'll keep I looking. I'll we'll keep looking. Yes. And over here, I like seeing the photos of you two. You've been together how many oh, years? A um, long time. <laughs> I can never remember. 30 something, isn't it? 36 years. Oh, gosh, 36 years. 36 years. Yes, I was 21 there. My goodness. Oh, you married so young. I know. I know. And I had hair. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Goodness. You look beautiful. <laughs> and it looks as though you've had a lot of fun together over the years. Oh, we have. Oh, oh sailing in the Mediterranean somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. We don't so. have many photos of ourselves, no. actually, but it doesn't matter. Lots of memories. Well, not, ones, sure. not ones that you can show anyway. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and on the mantelpiece, piece, we just have a kind of eclectic collection of different things. Uh, these are Borgia scaliers, so these are the, the kind of balls that would have gone on the finial at the bottom of the staircase. Yes, 
When uh, we were at Ed and Anna's, they had yeah. just bought some beautiful uh, ones for yeah. their stairs. Yeah, they're, they're lovely things. I didn't know that's what they were called, boule d'escalier. Yeah. Mm. Boule now I've learned the name. So one, one mercury one, mm. and then a blue one, which is quite rare. Yes. Can you feel the weight of that? Oh! So that's... Whoa, I was not expecting that. Compared with... Well... And that's a hollow one. That's a hollow one, so yes. it's, it's the solid ones that are... Uh, these really, are the ones yeah, to look yeah, for, yeah, is it? really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and he reminds me of... Do you know the French uh, Saint-Ant for the nativity scenes? So yes! Like, my yeah. grandmother had a whole village. Yeah. But... Huge! He's magnificent! Yeah. I mean, he's... He's one of the quirky kind of things that I like mixing together with finer antiques or better yes. things. These are like English garden gnomes. They would have been in the garden, they're weathered and they, they look good with Chinese vases and different things. So what we try and do is to mix things together. So garden things, Chinese vases, architectural pieces, bring it yes. all together to make an eclectic mix. Of something, something wonderful. Something that makes a decorative feature. And this was the cake that, what, the, the top that the peasants wore? Yeah, so that's, a, uh, that's called a beard. Yes. Uh, it's a blue glazed cotton. Mm. Very, very trendy today. So uh, the Chinese market actually love them. Yes. And actually wear them. It was the best, kind of Sunday best for the farmers, the fishermen, the country okay. folk. So this is um, probably the first time someone like that would have sat in a grand room like this. Very much so. Mm. He wouldn't have got past the outside gate normally. He's gone up yeah, in the world. He has. And Don't what's he seen standing there, <laughs> watching us drink our cognac. <laughs> he's judging yes, a bit now. He's, he's, he's judging. Bit, he's a bit judgmental. <laughs> this chair we bought all oh, a few years ago, purely because of its look, it's it's decorative. Yes. Uh, it's got the Toile de Jure on it. It it blends in perfectly with our other things. I love the paint on it. But to be honest, it's a kind of early reproduction. It's, mm. it's not a period piece of furniture. It was probably built 1900s. I love it. But it, I, it I just looks it. right. Yes. I don't mind that the arm's like that. Mm. Um, and the twirl that they yeah, chose yeah. goes so perfectly with the style of the It chair. does, yes. It works very well. And I love the cushion on it too. And I could look at everything here for hours, every detail. Yeah, and that's a kind of scene yes. of a, I think a yeah. French lady a bit of yeah, doing some milking. Mm. But just to be surrounded yeah. by this, so pretty. It's perfect. So this is our second salon, which is a much more of a kind of cosy mm. family room. You know, we can watch TV. Comfy and, sofas. Yeah, and we have the wood burner, and so it's kind of a winter, winter salon in a way. Dogs. Is, yeah, the dogs are allowed in here on the sofa. <laughs> so, that's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> And George has got a little secret um, stash of his cognac here. Was well, he stash? <laughs> in three of the downstairs living rooms, there are these tiny cupboards, mm. uh, and they're metal banded so that you can't kind of break into them, and, and they have locks. But they were made purely to keep <gasps> to keep cognac. <laughs> Heavens, no. so, <laughs> but these all look like old bottles. Well, the old clinics I, I try and collect. So most of these are old. Yes. That I find in Brocons and things and I keep. But there are quite fun ones to show you. When we bought this chateau, we were given on the day these two bottles. So Sarah with her maiden, maiden name and myself. <gasps> the so, Cuvée Kelly and the Cuvée Hazlitt. Especially, <laughs> especially bottled for us. Oh, that's so, so thoughtful. Yeah, it's really nice. But this is something I've been meaning to ask because all of the displays that you have look as though, well, that's it, it's complete. So that's the same with this cupboard. What happens if you find an old cognac bottle now? Yeah. Well, yeah. if I find another one, I will look and I will take out one that I think I don't really want to keep and I will keep the one that I do want. So, so it's I, a one so, in, one out. Yeah, 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 because I've got no more room. Yes. And then do you drink the one that you don't keep? <laughs> or, or sell it. Oh, okay. Or, or, yes. So. Or, or give it as a present. Yes. Mm. Uh, I mean, they're not old, old. They're 1930s, 1950s. And do they uh, keep well? Cognac, once it's oh. bottled, keeps forever. Oh. It can only age, actually, in the oak barrel. So once it's, so once it's taken, and, and they only keep it in the oak barrel for up to about 
50 years or so. Mm. Because after that, it, it, it starts to not be good. So once it's bottled, it, it. it will never go off. Mm. Making so, this probably so, even more interesting. So, so anything that's in the bottle, as long as the cork's right mm. and it's airtight, then it will, it will last forever. So it's, for instance, this little one here says on it the name of the man who built the house again, Otard Dupuis. Dupuis. So that's 1876. So that was made by the man who had so much style and flair. Yeah. We look for them all the time. This um, is because you, we, they do exist, but we, you know, obviously we've got to find. We ask everybody if yes. find anything related to the chateau, you know, Konya, obviously postcards, anything. Mm. We want to try and have to collect yeah, everything. Yeah. The other thing I love in this room mm -hmm. are the swans. Johnny Dunn and I. Oh, really? Both of us were just entranced. Yeah, that's unusual, aren't they? Where did you find those? I don't remember. George was. I've had those for. Oh, 20 years, that's what the last house, isn't it? Yes, we do. Yeah, yes. so I've had them for 20 years. Originally, I think they were coffee tables. Oh, you think they were supporting something? Yeah, I think yeah, that's the same height as that. Yeah. So I think they were either a console or a coffee table, uh, not particularly old and just decorative. You just like them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I like the ball. Yes. yes, the bull is an advertising feature from obviously a butcher's shop. Uh, just a kind of quirky thing that I like to put these kind of quirky things in with religious mm -hmm. objects or whatever. These stone pillars, mm -hmm. uh, I bought lots of these over the years and people turn them into, into very posh lights. Yes, yeah, uh, but when you actually think that's a piece of stone that's been turned on a machine and I just think they're lovely things. Yeah. So architectural features next to religious plaster figures next to a, a ball that's been taken by the horns a few times and <laughs> snapped off. You have such a good eye. <laughs> it, what a joy, it's a joy being here. I, I want everyone there to see your kitchen, which is the next room, because that's the only thing you changed. We completely yes. wouldn't. Yeah. Sarah did it. Yeah. Uh, when we bought the house, the, the original kitchen, mm. because as in most chateaus, the kitchen wouldn't have been on the same level mm -hmm. as, as uh, the main salon, yes. etc. It was in it, the cellar. It was yes, in the cellar, yeah. Yes. And the staff would bring the food up, yes. usually by, by a kind of staff secret staircase. Mm -hmm. uh, we have four little rooms in here that were all really pokey, pokey yeah. and used as offices and things like that. And we thought, no, let's knock the whole lot down, lower the ceiling, higher the floor, and well, go and have a look. See what you did. Wow. I'm really uh, wow. kitchen. Which is the only part of the shutter that we've actually changed. We wanted to have the kitchen up here. Of course. Yes. And you know, with four windows and, and there's just the space and the fact that I was a chef in the UK. Um, you know, I want I dreamt yes. always of having a kitchen and I did dream of having an Arga. And is that dream came Arga? true, so um that and it's was a four door. My, yeah. It was a huge, huge, oh. huge present that um, was just like Beautiful. a dream come true. I mean, we said, you know, this is our last move. We hope you yeah. <laughs> It's so warm. Um, it's, mm. it's a it's yeah. a yeah. source and it hits yes. this half of the chateau. I grew up with one and I dream of having one again. Yeah. I miss it. Yeah. Me, yeah. When I you come into the that. house, it's the first place you go to. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Come in from yeah. outside, straight to the step over the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> crowded around here. Yes. Yeah. And the kids sit on the tops and <laughs> So you work. You were actually a chef. I was a chef in the UK most of my life. Yeah. I mean, I would have guessed, even if you hadn't told me, from the food that we've been having the last few days, <laughs> extraordinary. I like feeding, um, you know, from a feeder. Mm. We haven't spoken about the fact that actually you rent out this chateau for weddings. Mm -hmm. And do you do any of the catering? Uh, yes, we do all of the breakfast. So the guests come for three days, so mm. Friday, Saturday and Sunday night. And so we do all the breakfast for 18 people who stay here. And also on a Friday night, we offer dinner if they'd mm. like to have something maybe a bit quieter than, 
you know, before their yes. wedding day yeah. and then in a nice intimate dinner and maybe outside or in the dining oh. room. Okay. And I will cook for them. For and that. what sort of things do you do? Um, I like to use seasonal pro- produce. Mm. Uh, some of it's possibly from the garden. Um, You've just given us a huge <laughs> bag of um, artichokes. Oh, I know, oh, I, I did. did. I heard you like We've got a bag of artichokes. <laughs> I love artichokes. Oh, good. Yes. Good. And if you're homegrown, especially tomatoes, you know, mm. things seasonal. Um, have a bit more flavour, or we shop locally um, at the markets. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people for the weddings, you know, they what they want to get married in France for a reason is that they love yes. French food, and so yes, I would definitely do both. And it's the whole experience that in French yeah. chateau with French exactly, food. yes, and good wines and some champagne. Mm. And yes, and it's romantic. So, so again, great way to start the wedding. It's an incredibly romantic house. <laughs> it really is. And the bedrooms are very romantic. Too. Oh. We haven't got to the bedrooms yet. <laughs> they really are. And do they actually nice. use the bedrooms? Yes. Yeah. They have the whole chateau. Um, I, we actually move into the cottage next mm. door. So even your bedroom is? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, everywhere. So they get the full chateau yes, experience. experience. Yes, exactly. I love that. It's, it's actually amazing. incredibly rare because if you think most chateau rentals for weddings, uh, the owners actually live in a part of the chateau that no one gets to see. Yeah. And here, they're really in the chateau. They're in our home. Room. They yeah. are the chateau. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes. But are. that's all part of the experience that we want to yes. share. And, and we generally, we, you know, we love that part. It's very special for people. Um, and then we come in and do breakfast. So, so the only thing, and obviously if they need anything, we're mm. just next door. But we do like to leave them to have their, their own space and um, feel at home. I mean, just to give everyone an idea, we've been <laughs> here a couple of days and from the very first <laughs> moment we arrived when there was a lunch served on the terrace that was butternut squash and feta oh, yes. tart oh, and yes. we just basically finished eating that when it was time for champagne downstairs <laughs> in the sitting room with nibbles <laughs> and then we went through to the dining room and yes. had yes. three course meal yes. and then yeah. a breakfast that started yeah. again because <laughs> Philip and I ran out really quickly because we just wanted to get to the yeah, antique fair. But Erin mm. Aaron and JB were here tucking into scrambled eggs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so jolly of the breakfast as I was going. <laughs> it continues. Yes. But I love that, you know, you know, maybe it's mm. not too good to stay too long. I think we might go back a bit um a bit wider. But oh, uh, I, I am. <laughs> the, the dresses are getting looser and looser yeah. every day. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, it's an experience, and that's what I, I like yeah. to do. Yeah, oh, I yeah. love it. Mm. I've just had the best time. No, really it's the best time. time. Well, if everyone wants to see the mm-hmm. time that we've had here with all of the other chaperones that you invited and the amazing food that we had, I'll put a link to my vlog of that, which was posted a couple of days ago. <laughs> Tell us a bit more about the kitchen itself because it's really unusual. It's very striking. It's very beautiful. Mm. I love. The fact that these columns remind yes. us of the panelling in the other yes. rooms. Yes, exactly. Well, we wanted, I mean, we created the, the kitchen from scratch. Yes. And there was, you know, George was knocking down the walls. Mm. We had a skip outside the window, shoveling things <laughs> out of there directly. Yeah. Um, so we did it with the basic work ourselves. And then we did work with a local architect to help us bring it all together. We knew we wanted to have the Arga very central. Yes. I mean, normally you would have it on the wall, but mm-hmm. uh, we wanted it central so that, you know, when I'm cooking, up, everybody you can be around me and, yeah. and then yeah. I can chat mm-hmm. with everybody because this is the hub of the house. Yes. We have the small island, the great big island with the Arga, and then mm-hmm. we we mirror the small one, uh, the small island with the table, exactly the same size, but so for our, our breakfast table and the family table. But all the so units are actually uh, IKEA. Yeah, it was very straightforward. I it. Honestly, when yeah. you <laughs> told me that they were IKEA, it's like, no, it looks like a bespoke <laughs> kitchen. Well, it is a bespoke kitchen. Yes, yes. I mean, yes. it's basically the carpets, all carpets from all the kitchen manufacturers. Ah, are, are all the same. Yes. yes. Exactly yes. the same, made in the same way, just different colours, different handles. So the architect said, well, you know, let's use oak to make the pillars, to make the big cornices, to try and mirror the architecture of the house, and then just go to IKEA and order it all up. So yeah. obviously it was a huge job to plan how many doors, how many panels, mm. how many this, how many that you wanted. Yeah. But he could do all that for us, and then we'll put it all together. We have you know silly little things like we have these pop up um, electrics because otherwise you've got the whole workshop and no plug. I'm so jealous. I'm so they pop up like this. And uh, but he, so he ordered the, the marble, the granite to come, you know, already with the, with the, with the holes. Mm, with the holes. Yeah, so it's just so great. And then they just pop down again. 
Just little things. Um, so I know that some people living in modern houses will have seen things like this yes. before, but to yes. anyone who lives in a chateau, yeah. we're like, the, oh, I know. What? <laughs> oh, this is incredible. I know. I mean, it's just a lovely space, a lovely space. I, I do make quite a mess when I cook, but I, yeah. you know, I do cook it up, obviously, but I love spreading out and um, mm. uh, I've got masses of cupboard space. And do I see George's, <laughs> George's yeah. touch? They're, they're, they're oh, really good. good. Yes. Where are these from? Or are they from all over the world? No, they're, they're, all, they're all French. The, these yeah. are from Savoie, the Savoie, Haute Savoie. Okay. And the coffee pots are from really from the south. Yeah, from they? the south. Yeah. And the more drips, the better. Mm. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. just lovely. And the, the big jugs, that's, that's my, I just adore those. These? Yeah. So this, yeah. is, this is your time. Yeah, I love them. I love them. I mean, do you use oh, them? Oh, look at this whole cup. I know. Them. Do you, what I do you know. use them for? Oh, well, I probably use them for flowers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do, I do use them. Well, it's this perfect mixture of um, form and function because it works, mm. but again, everything is beautiful. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we like to be surrounded by things like that. For instance, up here, the oyster sink. Mm. So then he's made a little poop bell here. Oh! So, do the oysters, frame them. As you're shucking your oysters and yeah. putting them straight yeah. in yeah. the bin. But I, I use it for there. my veg prep salad pack and then pass that. Yes, yeah. 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 it's just great. And then yeah. the wine there the minute you walk in. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's ready. <laughs> yeah, it's like a well, maybe we could go and see the bedrooms. Now. Yes, yeah, yeah, come upstairs. Yeah, I'm dying to show people yeah. the bedrooms. <laughs> we get to get up the glorious staircase now. The decoration of this chateau was so splendid and I stopped at every object. So I've actually had to split this into two videos. So to see the gorgeous bedrooms with extraordinary details on every surface. You'll have to watch next week, Sunday at the chateau. And I'll also show you the beautiful outbuildings with a glorious converted barn where they're able to host the weddings. Oh, and Sarah and George will even be showing us how to make a cognac cocktail. See you all next Sunday. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande, Yadel and Ether, Alice Allen, Dan Banda, Wailing Banshee, Brian Barnard, Brandon and John, Michael, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Daniel Banakovich, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Harolina Calabro, Chloe Chalacani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Stephen Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Zoe Dorks, Jim Demersman and Richard Patternord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hubler, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, David Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Kathleen Norrie, JC Award, Maureen Palmer, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahm and Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Roja, Penny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Patty Suhu, Matthew Sinclair Wilson, Susan Stevens, and The Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troy, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Vies, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Copapoo, Greg Wood, David Young.